hello everyone now in this video i'm going to discuss how to handle the complex grid that means the grid has some component to which you can interact such as checkbox or a button so again i'm at the telerik site and as you can see here in this grid there is a checkbox present and in this grid there is a delete button present so in this video i'm going to discuss how you can handle such kind of grid which have a interactable component in their columns so first of all we need to find the base x path for this grid so just press s12 and so this is the table inside this we have t head and inside this we inside the same table tag we have a t body okay so table slash slash table at the rate roll equal to grid t body and after that for the checkbox so it's an input tag so this will be the base x path and the rest of the x path will be slash tr based on index slash td based on index which will be the column index and this will will be the row index and slash input for the checkbox Similarly for the second grid which has a delete button so table roll equal to grid we have a t body and it's a hyperlink tag so i think this will be the x path t body tr t td and this will be a hyperlink so let's quickly cross check So let's say I want to select the button which is at third row and the column will be 5. So the reason why I'm passing 5 as index because we know that the button is present at the fifth column. So this will be hex path for the button which is present in the third row. So dollar x so as you can see here it has highlighted the the delete button which is present inside the third row and similarly if I go back and let's say I want to see the checkbox at the third row so this will be input okay okay so it has highlighted the checkbox so here i'm going to write a custom keyword which will handle all these three event that is click on checkbox click on button and get the text from grid column okay so there will be a single method which will handle all these three event so again inside my grid helper i'm going to add one more custom keyword and the name is get value or click on column so public string get value or click on column okay the reason why the return type of this method is string because this method will also read the value from the column 
and the parameter of this method will be same as our previous custom keyword method now as you can see here there are three event which this method is going to handle so we need to have a some kind of separation which will tell the method that what to perform at the current time so for this i am going to supply one more argument in the method that means the type so string type okay and the logic which i am going to use here is if type equal to checkbox then use this xpath to click on check checkbox if type is button then use this xpath to click on button and if the type is value then use this xpath because for the getting the column value we just need the row and column index okay so let's say this will be 3 so this is the logic which i am going to apply i am going to supply the type while calling this keyword and based on the type i will perform the corresponding action so let's say i put keyword annotation with this method so again the steps remain same first we will get the updated test object so let me initialize this with null because we will have a if else letter here so i am going to put if checkbox dot equals ignore case okay there is a method inside the string class which will compare to a string type then here i will use our updated test object and this is the method to get the updated test object so everything remains same only for checkbox we need to add a input tag so slash input after that we will perform the click action so web ui dot click on test object and then return the empty string we need to return empty string because the return type of this method is string and in this case we just want to perform a click action that's why i'm returning the empty string similarly if else and if it is button dot equals ignore case type then again get the updated test object and this time this will be a hyperlink and in the end just get the value from the column okay so return web ui dot get text and this is the test object okay so our custom keyword is ready in this manner i have distinguished between the action which this keyword is going to do if i pass the checkbox it is going to click on the checkbox if i pass the button it will perform the click click action on the button if i'm not passing anything then it will get the value from the column so in our next video i'm going to show you how you can use this inside your script so that's all for this video and thanks for watching